That being said, um, Andreas, uh, I, I know, you know, we had talked about this and, and um, that it's very valuable, some of this stuff, but hopefully you can sell it soon because it needs to be removed from this area. So for folks who are watching this, my brother's a paratrooper and he's the best brother I've ever had. He's my only brother and I love him dearly. He's had a lot of trouble, a lot of problems like everyone else. And fortunately, he run out of room to keep his stuff. So if you're watching this and you want to help my brother out, he's a veteran and you want to like help him store his stuff, you know, and sell it, that would be great because there is like a lot of work that needs to be done. Aside from artistic projects, there's a lot of maintenance around here. Like I said, like if you're a plumber, want to help out, that's great. If you want to like store, help my brother store some of his stuff temporarily, hit me up with a message in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. Um, I think this is what friends are for. This is what YouTube is for. Um, I'm gonna reach out to some of you who, uh, you know, maybe able to help me out and uh, find a place to put some of his stuff temporarily. Um, because uh, like you can see it's flooding and uh, it's breaking my heart that my father is not back in the studio painting where he belongs, where he should be. Um, I helped him build this studio with our bare hands. And look at these beautiful paintings. Some of these took seven years for him to work, work on and make. And, and uh, you know, look, I mean, look. I, 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 I'm heartbroken that my father is not in the studio here making artwork because all this crap is here. Um, and he's had health problems. He's had a lot of health problems, been in the hospital, but he's doing a lot better now, as you can see. Um, so I'm real serious um, about having an assistant, you know, if you're willing to help out, um, I can offer you commission, you know, up to 20, 25, 50% of sales of, uh, of some of the prints. Um, it could be an internship. Um, opportunity for you um, as you can see we're really strapped for cash um, but things change and I do have a lot of like consulting opportunities that I could turn you on to um, that can provide some type of cash flow um, during the time you volunteer for us because it's really like a volunteer that we need who not only loves art but has some skills and is looking for growth potential um, I don't really want to divulge any of my personal business, family stuff um, into too much detail, um, but, um, you know, a lot of folks could say they were blessed, they had a head start, you know. Um, there's a lot of people in this world who claim to be self-made and, and this, that, and the other thing, and I, I tell you from experience, there's, there's very few people who really invented anything and contributed um, to society to the point where they ended up a, uh, becoming a billionaire and folks who, who didn't have a head start um, in some capacity. And it's very easy to have everything just taken away from you, swept right out from under your feet. Um, and uh, a lot of folks don't seem to realize that just because people have a lot of money it doesn't mean that they deserve it or they're somehow these smart, uh, better than everybody people. Um, you know, if you got lucky and you're persistent and, and, you know, counting your change and being a bean counter and making the right investments and, and investing wisely, you know, then you're a billionaire. That, that's great. That, that's, that's cool. Okay. Everybody needs money. Um, you know, my family, uh, we, we've all worked really hard. Um, kind of had a head start when I was 17 and this world that we live in, the society that we live in at the time thought marijuana was, you know, a, a crime and uh, it altered and changed my life and my family and infected us uh, permanently. So, um, you know, I'm not making excuses and I'm not trying to justify anything. I mean, you know, we all need, we need help. Uh, um, I'm an artist uh, and the son of a very, very great awesome artist who's still alive and um my mother and father like 
they instilled upon me a lot of the the values that uh, were also carried over from my mother's side of the family. Um, and, um, you know, it's just been, it's been a struggle because fame is a bullshit trip. And a lot of the people who should be famous aren't. And a lot of the people who um, are famous are just famous for merely being famous or for having met some type of algorithm, some type of convenient little... Um, lucky kind of thing, you know. Um, I really, I really uh, don't know how else to say this, but my dad's a, 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 an amazing, awesome artist, and um, he really needs an assistant here. You know, um, the loss of my mom, the death of my mother, was just a huge, massive blow. Um, you know, and uh, my dad before he got multiple myeloma, before he got cancer, he'd been battling ulcerative colitis uh, and was on disability and was very sick. Ultimately, he had to have surgery when I was about 14 years old. So um, my mom uh, was really the glue that held everything together and, and facilitated, allowed, enabled, and supported my dad to come down here and make some of his best work, some of the best paintings he's ever he's ever made. And um, it's time now he makes some more paintings. And my family has been through a lot of terrible things. My little brother, the paratrooper, very brave, had a lot of unfortunate things happen to him that were very unfair. And the result has now culminated in his having a lot of his stuff here and it's in the way. And um, it's very expensive to pay for storage, um, but you know I think what he needs is you know maybe like you know a, little, a friend you know a, a little bit of a, a companion to say hey you know this stuff's worth money and you could sell it and I've had discussion with him um, before about this but um, you know the spring is here um, we'd like to have some events we'd like to host some parties um, we'd like to make a huge print of your face blown up you know or whatever it is. Um, in this studio but alas there's a lot of little obstacles in the way like this constant clogging and plumbing leaking in the roof you know that sort of thing so um for a lot of folks who don't know about they don't understand my family or, or what's happened here um, my mother was diagnosed with cancer and died holding my hand in 2003 um Subsequently, my dad got cancer, and he was really sick, and they didn't have, they had only chemotherapy, they didn't have the immunotherapy and stem cell transplants. My mom, well, they did, but the George H. Bush um, conservative Republican administration with all their Methodist teaching thought that embryonic stem cell research uh, should be banned. And Well, anyway... Um, my dad was, you know, in a wheelchair, and he was was really, really sick. Um, been in the hospital a lot, and I've been taking care of my father. My dad's my best friend. And you would think, you know, you'd expect your blood relatives to be a little bit more aware of the suffering um, that my father was going through, or any individual that's related to them. And you'd think they would have been more forthcoming with, with offering to help. And my cousin David, thank you, David. I, I really appreciate um, you coming through for us more than a few times. Um, uh, I wish I could say the same for a lot of my other relatives. But um, I've been, you know, uh, doing it without, without really any help. And as much as uh, I want to start marketing um, and advertising um, the business. Um, it's been a struggle, it's difficult. Um, and I could really use an assistant if you want to, you know, if you're a freelance web designer and you, you want to put that in your credentials to, to redo a couple of these um, e-commerce sites, it's quite costly. I have a couple of different domain names, um, but you know, I'm trying to have a, a, a better, you know, solution here. Um, as a family, and my my main concern is the health of my dad and his 
overall well-being and how important it is for him to access regularly a massage. A massage would be extremely helpful for my dad. Um, I'm a believer in hydrotherapy, so having a jacuzzi, um, one of those kind of pools where you could, you could uh, swim in, and, and you know, for the elderly, my dad said it would be ideal if he had a a pool and some kind of massage therapist, physical therapist that could come here and help him do yoga. Um, I, I myself could use someone holding my ankles up. While I try to relearn how to do handstands, I, I used to be able to do a handstand, no problem, until I had nerve damage. And, and I, I can only imagine the pain my father's experience. He has fractured vertebrae in his spine. He had those glued back together. Um, so, you know, sure, you could say, you know, white privilege, oh, yeah, we're, we're you know, <laughs> there's people suffering way worse than we are, but the, this is the, the love of a, of, of a, of a son that uh, uh, that he has for his father, and I want my dad to have a better life. Um, he's always dreamt of having a boat, and um, I, I think going swimming and having a boat would be a great thing for him. Um, he deserves some kind of recognition, um, if not just if not the fame and, and just some sort of hey, look, wow, we got some cool paintings that that uh, you brought into this world, and and. You know, cheers, here's to you. Wouldn't that be nice if someone bought some of his artwork while he's still alive? That would mean a lot to me. It mean a lot to my family. We, we have always believed in hard work and doing the best we can. And, you know, it's, it's just not quite there, our unique paradise where I want it to be. I mean, as you've heard me describe many times before about the everyday is an holiday solar power boat that flies and floats. That's a real dream of mine, you know. Um, you know, and if, if for anything, I just want my dad to be out of pain and, and being out of pain means he can float in some kind of jacuzzi, heated pool, have some massage therapy and have a lot less stress than the other types of, you know, problems that a lot of famous, successful artists don't have to deal with. Um, we have continual car problems. This house is heated by oil. You know, it's uh, there. There's there's just a long list of, of stuff that doesn't make sense, and um, I don't. I'm not trying to knock my mother or father at all. My grandparents had four PhDs, and my father's side of family had the first pizza place in the Bronx. Went back and forth to Italy. Some very interesting, well-educated people. My ancestors. Unfortunately, World War Two and and uh, a couple other you know real tragedies that have that have, you know come on to, to me like, like so many other families. Um, we are in the position, financial situation that we are. Um, not everybody's dad can make these great, beautiful paintings. So please, I mean, if you are interested, you know, you, you remain, you don't have to be Zuckerberg or Spielberg or some other rich type of Bloomberg, <laughs> you know, or, or you even have to like eating hamburgers or have the last name Berg, but like artwork and just have a lot of money, you know, and, you know, I, I see all these like things that, you know, philanthropy, and when I worked at Bloomberg, they were like, well, Bloomberg doesn't support individual artists, you'd have to go through the philanthropy organization, and when I tried to do that, the philanthropy organization told me that you cannot self-promote while you're an employee, you know, so for what it's worth, I've, I've really tried the best I can, and, and, Unbeknownst to me, the business card that I handed out to a lot of famous people should have a .net on it because the .com was hijacked by the Chinese in China and now the .com won't be sold back to us, so I have to make it a .us. So his old business card, which said BernardBoffy.com, was coming up as no SSL certificate, site not secure, so people naturally wouldn't go and check out his artwork. So all these cool people I handed his business card to, from Charlie Rose to Harvey Keitel. I wanted you to see some cool artwork. I was trying to sell it to you. And my apologies. The dot-com was hijacked by a Chinese, and it would say malware. You, you, you go try to view his artwork, you couldn't view it. So um, other than that, you know, I'm doing the best I can to, to do right by my family, you know. Um, 
I, I didn't go to art school. I'm not this great, you know, painter. But look what my dad can do. I mean, it, it's, it's just amazing. It's just incredible. And some of these paintings, it, it took many, many years to do. I, I mean, I, I, you know, this is not a normal thing. Most people can just say, pick up a paintbrush and do this. And very, very accomplished artist. Successful financially? No, because fame is a bullshit trip and he didn't have time to hang out, you know. He was bleeding out of his, his inside was bleeding all over the place. You know, how how is he going to, you know, he said he did a couple shows at Yoko Ono and he was on the sea and kind of anger and all these people and he was hanging out and then he got really sick and he had to go home and had a family, you know. So, you know, a lot of these artists, the you know, they were really more like businessmen, you know, <laughs> and, and, and no offense, you know, but a lot of these like Lichtenstein and kind of like, you know, pop art kind of things, Andy Warhol stuff, I mean, you know, I get it, I mean, and the whole um, conceptual art thing, but come on now, <laughs> pick up a paintbrush, and do something like that, Dude, no, for real, I mean, you know, and then tell me that you know, your your artists, you know, your art <laughs> you know, and, and I get it, you know, some art that looks like it was made by a three year old to some, you know, it's a beautiful work of art, beauty's an eye of beholder, but let's get real now, you know. Um if you wanna help my family out, you know, make a message in the comments and I'd be happy to help you out, you know, I'd be happy to decorate your house or offer you, you know, I don't know some beautiful prints, you know, in exchange, you know, for your services of, you know, plumbing or want to come over here and help us with some housekeeping. That'd be cool too, you know. Um, anyway, uh, my heart goes out to everyone else who's struggling right now. It doesn't have a roof over their head, um, you know, but I, I love my father and I've watched him suffer and I, I felt helpless watching him suffer and I'm saying, man, if I could afford that massage therapist, if I could afford that pool, if I could afford that jacuzzi, if I could take him on a vacation on a boat, he hasn't been on vacation in a long time, somewhere I go fishing. Just that for, for me means a lot to me. So I think everybody can relate to that. You know, you, you, you have people in your life, it's very rare that you love unconditionally. Nothing greater than a parent, especially if you're good with your mom and dad, if you're really close to them. But we all have that person in life that we just want to see happy. And we know life is fragile and it's not going to last forever. And, you know, hey, my dad made some beautiful paintings and my mom made some beautiful artwork too. I mean, look at that. Look. My mom made that. We're not famous, nobody knows about us, you know. And other artists don't really seem to, to care. You know, they even seem a little intimidated. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it, every artist has, a, has an ego and, and everyone has, has the fear of rejection, you know. And being a businessman is different than being an artist. And um, if my father has ever offended anyone in any way, Hey, you know, he, he didn't mean to do that. He was just being himself. I know him. He's a good man. So, it's just so funny nowadays. Everyone has this this huge, like, ego in the art world. They all think, oh, well, where did you show? You know, where did this person have a, a show? And, or, or is he famous? You know, that signature. You know, is that a good investment? You know, look at really good art right here. I mean, this is the trial of libretto. This is based on personal family experiences and things that were very intense. Same thing with this one up here. You know, that's me. That's me on the wall. That's the first painting I ever made. And you know what it says? Dad Rat. <laughs> yeah, so I love my dad, you know. You know, when you, 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 you go through life, you, you, you think, well, I want to have no regrets and I want to have done the best I can. And I want to have memories that are dear to me that, that only, only you, you, you'll have and, and it will also last forever. So 
when you live for others, you'll live again. When you, you make someone else happy, you make someone else smile, it brings joy inside. And that's what I'd like to have from my dad. He, he didn't get famous as an artist. It's, it's, it's really kind of heartbreaking. He had to work really hard as a teacher. And so did my mom. Um, never got to really see a retirement together and enjoy that. Um, you know, a lot of, a lot of, of, of us have, have seen loved ones taken from us too soon. And, and it's just not fair. And, you know, the way the cookie crumbles is that we got all got to have money. My dream is to have universal solar energy legislation that would really fundamentally alter the inequality that, you know, plagues this planet, really. Um, the wealthy seem, have seemed to me to be extremely greedy. Um, I've worked for some very wealthy people and they had me sign contracts to not to tell, talk about their names and this, that, and other thing. And when it came time to suing one of the wealthiest people who actually ran for president, you know, we all were, were saying, yeah, we, we're, we didn't get paid for the overtime and for the grueling factory line, like, uh, you know, assembly line type, type, type of thing that these corporate corporations, these large entities get away with. They just churn people in, churn them out, um, you know, a few people can say, well, I want to dedicate 25 years of my life, you know, to get that retirement, that pension, you know, um, in a lot of professions outside of, you know, some, something that's really noble, like being a policeman, fireman, you know, soldier, EMT, doctor, or whatever, you know, being an artist, you can't eat art, you know, and, and you're either going to be an artist, or you're going to be a businessman, you know, and the two are like, you know, different sides of the brain, so... Um, you know, please forgive me for, for, you know, putting my cards out there, but, you know, my dad made some really good paintings, man, and, and he still can, and, and, and he's had a new lease on life, you know, and, and money sure would help us a lot right now. Um, I'm overwhelmed as it is, and, and the, the close, closest friends that I have, are, I've always been like family to me. And I know that y'all are struggling, that y'all have your hands full. Um, I got fully vaccinated. I feel fine. I hope that y'all can get vaccinated too. And stop being so ignorant about these viruses. Do you know, tuberculosis, diphtheria, measles, these things killed millions of people. My grandfather was a doctor in India. He healed so many people. He was giving them... The very first penicillin, the very first antibiotics manufactured himself, um, and that healed a lot of people. And people don't seem to realize that the, the world has, has, has been plagued by viruses for a long time, and it's wiped out entire populations of people. It really has. So has ignorance. So has organized religion. So I have a lot of the stupid laws that this country has seemed to have, you know, been swayed by the church and, and forgot the, the the holy grail of our Constitution and Bill of Rights, which is separation of church and state. You know, we, we have to listen to the scientists, not to Jesus and not to somebody who thinks that, you know, because someone was written a book 2,000 years ago and that that's actual scientific fact that's relevant today. I mean, all these things, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal. Great, you know, that's all good and all. But when it comes to science and, and DNA and, and all the advancements that we're, we're making, it behooves you to get vaccinated because if you don't get a vaccination, what happens is you could get the mutated version of the virus, get sick, maybe not die, uh, and pass it on. And even if you are vaccinated, you could get sick and pass on a mutated version that after you've passed that on to another person who's now passed that on to another person who's also fully vaccinated, now you have a version of the virus that the vaccine is no longer effective against. That's why it's, it's very important to continue wearing a mask during a global outbreak like this. It is an airborne avian kind of thing. And it's 
it's plagued humanity for a long time. This is not nothing new, you know. Um, it's caused a lot of hardships for so many, and fuck, you know. I I know we're not the only ones, but I'm I'm watching my dad here um, in pain and, and feeling frustrated, just just like I am with my own um, medical uh, and 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 complicated complex kind of issues that aren't covered by the insurance um the majority of my pain um could be eliminated with massage acupuncture and someone taking their hands and kneading my body correctly and with cannabis um my insurance company doesn't cover any of that you know, and all the stuff that they prescribe me, all these, these toxic, horrible chemicals, I mean, that's all great if it's acute, you know, but over the long term, it's not. And to watch a loved one who's got way more, my dad's got way more problems than I do physically and, and way much more pain, to watch him sort of deteriorate, saying, man, if I could, if I could only hire a massage therapist, if I could only have a pool have someone come in and manipulate his body in the water a little bit. Wow, wouldn't that be wonderful? To have him come in here, his paint's all already, boom, go and make some art. Instead of having to constantly bombarded with all these different kinds of problems. And, and you know, I mean, uh, I guess, you know, some folks who, this is the interesting, you know, dynamic in life is like some folks who, they may be nice and all, they, but, if they've never, if they've never actually struggled, if they don't know what it means to worry that you're not going to be able to make, make, you know, payment to this bill and make ends meet and everything's going to collapse and to, to feel like under the wheel, so to speak, they don't really know what it's like, um, as far as like being generous and like actually helping people. Um, they think, think of things as like a linear or, or, you know, you deserve to suffer because you're a sinner or. You know, you, you didn't go to college, you didn't pay attention, or, you know, it's like this kind of, like, thing where they have this huge ego that um, is fed by the amount of money they have, so they they don't feel empathy, you know? Um, so, anyway, I got some artwork to sell. I'm really trying to help my dad. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just, this is really all the family I got, you know, um, and, uh, yeah, and if, if, if you're, uh, you're reading this, um, I have a son, I have a biological son, the last I heard he was in India, um, if you're reading this, you know, um, it's time we have a little bit of a conversation, you know, I know I'm not your dad, um, your biological dad and, and I haven't seen you since you were a baby and your mom didn't want you to come to this country to be polluted with all the crazy problems here like have happened to me um, I mean I'm a, I'm a cancer survivor because of pollution and I can't blame your mom I can't blame his mother um, I don't have a genetic predispos predisposition for cancer it's uh, environmental so Anyway, 